Hey guys, this is Navini and welcome back to Navini Automation Lab. So today one very famous interview question Majority of the companies they are asking these kind of questions that on a string based That get the count of total words in a given capitalized string. What do you mean by capitalized string? Capitalized string is a string where the first Letter of each and every word is in capital letter So you can see the first letter is uh, first word is Navin and the first letter is N is capital A capital L capital YouTube Y capital is there so we have four words over here Naveen automation labs and YouTube. So we have to get the count of Capitalized or the complete word from the capitalized string, right? So we have to get the count Let's see one two three four in this case. So how will you do that? So it's very simple the f There are various ways of doing it. The first simplest way is that simple maintainment counter equal to zero so the idea is that we will uh, keep checking and then uh, on the basis of some condition we will keep increasing the counter and finally we will print the count over there but what exactly the condition so i simply start a for loop and then we will do one thing integer i equal to zero we will start and i less than up to the length of this particular string and then i plus plus and then what exactly i'm going to do that i'll put one if condition over here and i simply write whatever the str dot character at character at method saying you give me the index so what is the index over here i so this guy will return the character available on a specific index so i'll keep checking that what exactly the character is in uh, capital range or not and what is the capital range between capital a to capital c so there are two things we can do that you can simply write as greater than or equal to capital a and then you can simply write and operator in str dot character at and then it should be less than equal to what should be less than equal to z also this condition is matched over here it means you have to keep increasing the counter plus plus like that so for example let's see i equal to zero for n n is greater than a yes condition is true n is less than z yes condition is again true it means count plus plus it means i got my first n over here first capital letter same thing for this condition will not be satisfied then i'll be getting a then again counter will be increased increased by one so count will be two and so on and after this particular for loop i simply write System dot out of print and print the value of count over here and uh, you will see the count is four over here like this We are getting it right so you can check and you can do the experiment. Let's see in automation labs I simple write testing then again Java. So how many words we have added two more words So four plus two six should be the count over here But remember this thing if you add some more let's see you're adding Python So this P is a small letter. So Java Python will be considered as a complete word over here so it will not take Python over here like this. So in this case again, it will give you six only Right. So remember this thing. This is a capitalized string and very simple formula that we have done it So this is the first way of doing it second way is that you can use the ASCII values also So the exact code that I'm going to use it For example, let's say I'm maintaining counter one over here and instead of this we know the ASCII value of uh, a is 65 so we can give the ASCII range if you don't want to give a, a to Z. So 65 to the uh, Z is I think 90. So I'll simply write 90 over here and then count one plus plus and then print the value of count one. So with the help of ASCII value also you can see the count is six only from Naveen Automation Labs YouTube testing Java. What is the third way? The third way is that you can use the character class and is uppercase method, which is again very simple. So I simply maintain one more count over here. Let's see count two is equal to zero and uh, What exactly we can do is we can start a for loop integer I equal to zero I less than str dot length and then I plus plus and What exactly you can do we can put one if condition that if there is a class character dot and there is a method is uppercase for that particular character it means str dot Character at I'll pass I it means you check each and every character is an uppercase or not if you found the uppercase then do what then you increase the counter to the value of counter two by one and out of the for loop again you print the value of counter one so i'll print the value of counter one over here once again and let's see what is the output with this formula so let's run it and here also it's giving you six right so this is also you can simply do that now the fourth way the fourth way is that you can use the streams also so streams are uh, very easy. What you can do is that uh, whatever the string that we have str dot 
remember cats method you have to use which will return one integer stream and then you can apply a filter over here and let's see for I'm applying the filter e and then i'm supplying it to to a condition the condition is that i is greater than let's say 65 again on the basis of ascii or you can use the a and z also and i less than equal to 90 and then give me the count and the count will give you a long value so let's say i'm just storing a long count a four is equal to this and let's see what is the value of count four we are getting it system dot out of print ln count four okay so i think i it's saying that we have already taken so let's take something sorry we have to take e over here not i okay because we are passing e as a <clears throat> to the lambda and supplying it to this particular expression so let's see are we getting the right count or not so when you run it it's saying six also this is also perfectly fine over here and then if you really want to apply streams with the character dot is our case that also you can do it so what you can simply do it that uh, this is a fifth one again using the stream so let's see this i'll get the count five and instead of this particular filter what you can do is that the filter you can apply let's see pass it to the lambda with the help of e and then you single pass character dot is uppercase and which character whatever the character e that you are getting it from this particular stream and get the count and just print the count five over here so this is also another way of uh, doing it you can simple run it and you can simple see that okay six one is coming like that what else there is one more you can use it with the help of a regular expression so how will you do that with the regular expression we can create one regular expression like this let's see reg is equal to i want capital a to capital z and then i'll include the complete range from capital a to capital z and any number so i simple write plus over here any kind of characters between a to z i want so this is a regular expression the string that i have created and then what exactly i'm going to do i'm going to use a pattern dot there is a method compile method and my regular expression is that reg over here whatever the string that you have created this compile will return one pattern reference so i'll store inside the pattern reference so pattern let's see uh, a pattern which is equal to this and then i'll be using pattern dot matcher this is the standard way of uh, using the patterns and matcher and the matcher is uh, matcher is what whatever the string that we are passing the string is this the same main string in the Wien automation labs youtube testing java okay and then that's it let's see i'm maintaining one another counter counter six this time is equal to zero and then i'll start a while loop over here and inside this particular while loop i simply say that okay if your matcher dot this pattern dot matcher also will return one matcher reference so let me store inside the matcher and uh, this matcher dot find it means if that particular character on the basis of this uh, regular expression is available then do what then whatever the count six that you are getting it i simply write count six plus which is equal to what so i simply say matcher dot from this particular group i'll be using it and then from the zeroth group dot length method you can use it over here okay and then you simply get your counter so i simply say that just print it on the console system dot out print ln count six so let's see this is giving you the right output or not so for this also we are getting six over here perfect so with the help of regular expression also this is absolutely working fine now there could be one more interview question people might ask you addition of this question is that what if there is a small string also at the beginning for example let's say i'm writing this over here but this is not the capitalized string this is actually another word that we have written so right now we are getting six plus one also seven this is also a separate word so the significance if you add this particular small word everything is a small letter before the string at the beginning of the string in that case you have to put a condition so for that you have to write a separate logic for that right so i simply say that okay if uh, a small word okay string is there or is at the beginning okay then uh, what will be the count <clears throat> so the count should be one two three four five six and seven because we have to include this as a word as well right so although this is not the complete capitalized but this could be an extended question people might 
ask you so how will you do that so in this case let's say i'm maintaining one counter c which is equal to zero initially and then i'll put one simple if condition over here that if my character dot right whatever i'll simple say that okay character dot is lowercase okay if character dot is lowercase and then what exactly i'm going to do that str dot character at so first i'll check the zeroth index it means the zeroth index character starting with the lower case it means i have to count that so it means increase your counter so c plus plus so my counter got increased over here because i have to include this guy also so if you write capital t that's okay this logic will work absolutely fine but i'm talking about if a small word string okay small uh character word string is at the beginning like this then i simple check okay starting with the small letter is a lower case at the zeroth position it means increase a counter so this also will participate as a counter and then we have to put a condition just to check it's available at the first location or not and then the rest of the things will remain same the this particular logic will remain same you can just capture it over here and then increase a counter c plus plus once again so if t is available a small letter the counter will be increased by one and this will give you the counter will be increased by six times so six plus one is equal to seven should be there so system dot out of print ln print the value of c so let's see what exactly c is giving c is giving you seven over here right like this now if you add for example a small character string at the end for example let's say i'm writing pop over here right this pop will not consider as a separate word why because this will consider as java pop because we don't have any delimiter over here there is no space also so that's why it will be like a java pop now you cannot segregate okay so in this case again it should give you what it should give you seven only see seven only because pop is not a separate word it's included with java only right another use case is that what if there is a space over here in this case will this work let's see if there is a space so the problem is that character zero is what character zero is in a space over here so let's see it is working or not in this case is giving you six although there are seven words are available so what should i do to solve this problem so the moment i write character zero first i'll trim this particular string so i simply write dot trim over here and then get the character at zero so trim what exactly it will do trim will remove this particular uh, space uh, from the corners and then again t will become at the zeroth position t will come okay so let's run it and let's see is giving you seven once again so this is how you can solve this particular problem in that case right so that's all for this particular video guys i hope there are other use cases also you can handle what if only one single string is available or something like this then also you can uh, do and then you can experiment and then these are the different conditions or seven ways or six or seven ways you can solve it this particular question streams are very uh you know i would say very fast and very elegant to write easy to write and only one single line of code you just need to write over here that's it okay so that's all for this particular video it's a very 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 common interview question people will ask you this kind of question at the time of interview you should be ready for that okay thank you so much guys thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll be coming with a lot of good videos on this particular channel so please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video and i'll see you the next video till then take care and god bless you all